Hello, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Patterns. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber. And in the last segment, we got a little interrupted because I ran out of memory on my camera. I apologize for that. But um, we're going to continue drawing the spine in this part here of our very intricate Triskel knot. And it's the same knot that's found in the cross slab, um, the roadside cross slab in Aberlemno in uh, Angus, Scotland. So, take your pencil, and what we're going to do is continue the pattern. This one's going to come down. So you can see you start making mirrored images along your, uh, your axis here. Now this pattern is going to go up here in between as is this one. And you can see they're doing a mirror image. That one comes up here and that behaves the same way. Alright, next we're going to draw the ribbon of the interlace pattern. And seeing as because it's so thick, or uh, because it's it's got so much going on, we're going to make it fairly thin. So basically it's only going to be about that wide. Now we're going to decide which way goes over and under. Let's mirror it on this side. So the first one goes over. So the first one from the corner here is going to go over. Now remember to draw lightly so you can erase. And just draw the sp around your spine with the same thickness. This one goes under and over. This one's going to go over. This one's going to go under and over and you've got that weave. You're starting to get a weave pattern. Alternating. See it's starting to take shape. Over. And under. And over. I'm going to dedicate this whole crescent Triskel to my cousin Trish and her, cousin, and her husband Corey and their two sons. Duncan and Fraser, and they let me stay at their place in Scotland last September when I drove around looking at all these stones I've been studying for over a decade and a half. Over. So, thanks very much Trish, I really, really appreciate it. Next segment, we're going to use a, one of your uh, Stettler pigment liners and we're going to trace around your ribbon. <laughs> 